Hello everyone! In this video, I'm going to discuss about the introduction to geometry. So we are going to discuss about the points, line, and planes. So before we start, let us discuss first what is geometry. Geometry comes from the Greek word geo meaning earth and metri meaning measurement. Geometry literally means earth measurements. Now, we are going to discuss about the undefined terms. So, when we say undefined terms are basic terms which cannot be defined but can be described. The undefined terms in geometry are point, line, and plane. These three terms are used as a basis for defining other terms in geometry. Now, let's have this table. So, in each undefined term, I'm going to describe and represent the given terms. So, let's start with the point. When we say point, it is a position in space. We are representing the point with a dot and you can name that point with any letters in the alphabet. Again, a point is named using a capital letter. The representation can be named as point A. Remember, any letters in an alphabet can be used in naming a point. A point has no dimension, no length, no width, no thickness, and does not occupy an area. And one of the examples of a point is a tip of a needle or a mold. Next undefined term is a line. A line is a set of continuous points that extends indefinitely to in both directions. So, a line can be drawn like this or can be represented like this. So, as you can see, this line is composed of a points. A line is named using any two points on the line with a line over the two letters or by using a single lower case script letter. So, in this representation, you can name this line as line AB. Remember this, the symbol of line. So, you, are, you can name this representation or this figure with line AB or pederen, line BA, or you can name it as line M. So, again, uh, there are a lot of ways on how to name this representation. So again, it's either, either you can call this as line AB or line BA or line M. And remember, a line has no width, no thickness, it is a straight and has infinite length. So pag sinabi nating line, nag-extend siya or humahaba siya, nag-extend nag, nag siya, infinitely or walang hanggan okay so one of the pictorial models or a concrete and a pictorial models of a line is an edge of a frame a string of a guitar next undefined terms is plane a plane is a set of points in a flat surface and extend indefinitely in all direction again when you say plane it is a flat surface okay a set of points in a flat surface so the representation of plane is this one so in naming a plane or okay so a plane is named by a single script letter or capital letter or by any three points in the plane which are not on the same line. So again, kapag ini-name daw natin ang isang plane, pwede natin gamitin yung single script capital letter or any three points na makikita sa plane basta hindi sila nasa isang line. Okay, so for example, we can name this plane as plane ABC or pwede rin natin siyang tawaging plane ABD or plane ABC and so on. So again, you can name a plane with any three points in the plane or pwede mo rin naman tong tawaging plane N. Okay? Remember that a plane has infinite length and width but no thickness. A plane is commonly denoted 
as a closed slanted four-sided figure. And one of the example of a plane is a sheet of paper. As you can see, a sheet of paper is a flat surface. Okay? And next is a top of a box. So that are the examples of plane. Now, it's your turn. So using the given figure, name the point, line, and plane. So if you are my student, please answer it in your notebook. If not, try to answer it and write it in the comment section. Next lesson, collinear and coplanar points. Thank you for watching. Happy learning, everyone.